is up you guys and welcome to the Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. And well, today we're going up against Phoenix Master 1. I do believe most of you guys know exactly who this guy is. He's a huge pocket tuber, usually playing in the higher tiers, both OU and UU, and doing very well, and for the right reason. He is a very, very good player. Um, I did want to challenge him for my 18 battle here, um, and I just asked him if he could, and yeah, he, he was up to it. Uh, so I'm really like flattered and honored that he took the time to battle me. Uh, like I said here, he doesn't play in this tier, so really glad that I could, well, play him uh, with my own terms, obviously. Uh, I myself is using this almost the same team I had during the stream, both with Dragology, Swallow, Bedfist, and bringing Girder for some defensive bulk here, Girafarig and the Assault Vest, the Sesmetoad. Uh, and well, he's going with the Shift Tree, um, and that's Scum Hinder, uh, Semipore, Hiriyama, Ms. Magus, which I know is a huge threat actually in NU, and a Steelix. Yeah. We got a Steelix. So now, now you guys know, he's a good player. He's THE player. So make sure to actually check him out after this battle. Uh, or, you know what? Do it. Just check him out right directly. <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> anyway, and also guys, don't forget to leave a like. You're going to appreciate this battle. It was really an interesting one. And Hex was all over this, this place. So it was really, really fun. So anyway guys, let's actually get to it. Well, going into this battle, I did expect him to either bring Steelix as his lead, or maybe the Scum Hinder. So for that reason, I just decided to take my Dragology and, ho well, hope for best, really. And, well, um, he did bring the Shift Tree. Obviously, you're gonna expect me to go for a Sludge Bomb and stuff like that. I just go directly for that Specs Dragon Meteor, or Draco Meteor. And, well, it does a lot of damage here on um, <laughs> this poor, poor Hiriyama. So seeing that damage, I did expect to go for an Ice Punch and not a knockoff. Um, so and I got a crit there too, but I also got the Poison Point going. And so nice of my choice specs, which pretty much means that this Draco won't take him out. I kind of knew I could survive an Ice Punch, uh, because it wasn't the gut set. But well, now I'm in a picky, because now I have to actually sack something. I was thinking, or not sacking, but I was thinking that uh, Beard Fist can take <laughs> a hit, and then with Rocky Helmet take it out to get it with Poison. And he gets the free sacks, and <laughs> that sucks it's so bad. Um, so now my <laughs> bad fist can't do anything. So he gets Miss Magus here. I do, did expect him to go for a, um, a nasty plot here. So I'm just gonna go for Giraffe going for a side shot. He just sets up this <laughs> substitute here. So now I'm somewhat in trouble there because I can't really do anything. I know I'm slower. Uh, so you go for a Thunderbolt there. It does well over 50%. So that crit didn't matter, it's a 2-hit KO from that range anyway. So I should be somewhat glad, I guess, that I get <laughs> or got that, um, <laughs> that substitute out of the way. And he will just take out my 4 Geoffrey very early in this game. He didn't do, get to do anything, sadly. Right, I have like nothing really good to switch in here. So I'm just going to bring in Phoenix, hope and try to attack me while I go for a knockoff here. Well, he'll see right through that and bring in the Scum Hinder. Uh, and knockoff won't do as much as I hope. Obviously got acro acrobatics. I'm just gonna bring my frozen bed fist here uh, and <laughs> doing some uh, <laughs> some nifty damage really with um, um, oh sorry um, doing some damage with um, the rocky helmets. So nevertheless, he brings in the Miss Magus again, and I'm obviously still frozen. Uh, I did go for a thunder wave actually. <laughs> I'm gonna try it for the rest of the game. Um, so anyway, I'm bringing my astral here. Um, no one is gonna set up a um, substitute again. I'm just gonna go right away for a boom burst, hoping it takes it out. Um, and look at this! Look at this! Ah! It's so close too! Um, so sadly I lose my Swallow really early here too. I uh, did almost take it out, so I mean I'm somewhat glad. And he did not expect that. <laughs> he said he was never caught off guard <laughs> this much in his entire life. So anyway... Um, I know uh, Rizal can handle this. Going for Rock Slide here, which is somewhat safer. Going, getting the sub um, substitute back off, and then I go for Poison Punch in, say, if he decides to switch out. Because I know with my strength on my Sesmetoad, I actually can take it out from this range. So yeah, that is Miss Magus out of the way. It cost me a lot of trouble this game, um, and it's not over yet. <laughs> Still got that Shift Tree. 
And well, I don't want to take off my Sesmito just yet, so I'm gonna bring in my Marble, No, I can take a Seed Bomb, hoping he doesn't have the knockoff. Um, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> There's really nothing I could do there. So I'm gonna bring in Bedfist now, hoping to actually um, sort out really. I know I can survive another hit. And look at our hero. Look at our hero Bedfist surviving and still frozen. Yeah, it really blows thinking about it. Uh, but then again, he did actually get some rocky helmet damage and stuff like that. So hey, it wasn't really in vain. I think he actually did pull through really well. So anyway, going with my Phoenix here. Just gonna go for Mock Punch, knowing it is in the range where I can actually take it out. So that's Shift right away, which was actually a huge threat. Uh, so the Fletch Hinder is... I'm gonna take that hit and go for Drain Punch. I was not entirely sure that a Drain Punch could take it out. I know Fletch Hinder is somewhat uh, fragile, so I'm really glad I actually didn't got that one away. It was a huge threat considering how fast it is with Acrobatics, or rather the priority with Acrobatics. So anyway... I was thinking it's gonna go for a water move. He see right through me. Uh, and this is like the reason why <laughs> Phoenix Master is such a good battler. He got the predictions down. Um, so I'm going back to my Phoenix. Uh, I did not understand why I decided to withdraw there to Steelix. So I'm gonna get a good chunk of HP back here. Uh, I later find out that his um, yeah, Semipore is actually Scarf. So he was, he was actually locked into Gross Knot. So he pretty much sacked. Uh, this poor, poor Steelix here. Uh, and I mean, I'm hurting too here because I like Steelix. So anyway, that is obviously Steelix out of the way. Didn't get to do too much this game. Uh, and well, now I have only one to face off, and that is the semi -core. And I'm gonna go for Drain Punch here, hoping to survive a Hydro Pump. And well, whew, I barely done that. <laughs> I was really glad I did. Uh, so now I'm in the range where a Mach Punch will actually take him out. And that will be game! Yeah, I won! <laughs> so, well, what to say? Thank you, Phoenix Master, for this game. I, like I said, I am truly honored that you took the time to actually battle me. And, well, it was actually very little that decided <laughs> who got to win this game. And I was really glad. I definitely think that we were definitely equal in this tier and considering that he is somewhat inexperienced in the lower tiers pretty much tells me how good as a player he is so yeah I am really impressed and I don't know what else to say uh, I hope to battle you more during my Yu-Gi-Oh week I, I sincerely do <laughs> uh, and other than that guys you know do the usual thing like and subscribe as always and like I said there make sure to check uh, Phoenix Master out he has a lot of content and he's a very very good player and uh, like I enjoyed him a lot and like I said I enjoyed this battle too I think that's it <laughs> thank you guys for watching bye